An activist with ties to the Occupy movement has been arrested here and charged in the United States. There are allegations he hacked various government systems, including NASA and the Pentagon's Missile Defense Agency. From his home in a sleepy Suffolk village, Larry Love is alleged to have stolen the personal details of more than 5,000 service personnel. He might now face years in American jail. Jane Dodge has this report. Deep in the Suffolk countryside in a village few have ever heard of, the son of a clergyman is said to have breached US security on a massive scale. My name is Larry Love. I'm here in Glasgow studying physics at Glasgow University. It involves a little bit in, in student activism. One time student protester, the man with a pop star's name is now described by US authorities as a sophisticated and prolific computer hacker. They claim he infiltrated thousands of government computer systems from his family's semi on the outskirts of Stradishall and then taunted the agencies he'd hacked, writing online, LOL, laugh out loud, NASA, aha ha, we own NASA. Larry Love lives here with his parents. His father is a chaplain at the local prison. His mother works there too as a teacher. Well, I've just called at the family house. Reverend Love himself answered the door. He made it clear he didn't want to speak about the case and there was no sign of his son. The family are well known locally and it would seem well liked. To be honest, I'm not even sure I believe it because, you know, there's such, there's such a well-respected family around here. It's a very quiet neighborhood. And um, if a dog is chasing a cat, it's a news of, uh, you know, our uh, local community here. But computer hacking is quite something. Larry Love and three others based in Australia and Sweden are accused of stealing military and personal data from computer systems, including those at NASA, the Missile Defence Agency, the Environmental Protection Agency and the Army. In comments online to the other hackers, he appears to recognise the seriousness of his actions. This stuff is really sensitive. You have no idea how much we can f*** with the US government if we wanted to. This is a classic uh, hacker manoeuvre. He's found over the internet a poorly secured computer. He then gives himself greater privileges, including this backdoor and a full shell account, which gives him complete command over that particular machine. He can then use that to execute other commands and attack other machines. Larry Love is back home on bail. The US authorities are likely to want to extradite him, but past experience has shown that can be a long and not always successful process.